All right, President Trump today expected to issue executive orders. Trump today expected to order the construction of his long-promised wall along the U.S.-Mexico border and take other actions on immigration, a cornerstone of his presidential campaign. According to Fox News, Trump planning a visit to the Department of Homeland Security where he will roll out executive actions on immigration. The president took to Twitter Tuesday night, posted big day planned on national security tomorrow. Among other things, we will build the wall. Trump's push for a border wall started with a uh, campaign announcement back in 2015. New York Times reported that Wednesday's order will be signed the same day that the Mexican foreign minister arrives in Washington prior to a trip by his country's president at the end of the month. Trump also expected to move forward with plans to curb uh, funding of sanctuary cities that don't arrest or detain immigrants living in the U.S. illegally, which could cost individual jurisdictions millions of dollars. President Trump. Now, this is what. So you're going to have the border wall. Or at least some version of a border wall. We don't know all the details yet, and it will be interesting to see what exactly the border wall is going to look like. Is it going to be a 100% wall across the border? Or is is this going to be strategic fencing where some areas are left open? So again, it's going to be um, it's going to be interesting to see what exactly the wall is going to look like. How much money is it going to cost? What what plans do we have? But the other part of the executive orders that President Trump will sign today, it really is going to tick off the left. And you've already seen it a little bit on uh, social media. Later this week, Trump will order suspension of entries into the U.S. People from Iraq, Iran, Syria, Yemen, Somalia, Sudan, and Libya. The order bans those who engaged in bigotry, honor killings, violence against women, and persecuted other religions from entering the country. Some of the other executive actions expected Wednesday include bolstering Border Patrol agents by 5,000 and ending what Republicans have argued as a catch-and-release system at the border. Source familiar with the plan also told Fox that Trump will call for a Victims Advocacy Office for Victims of Crimes by Illegal Immigrants and increased overall transparency. Trump's insistence that Mexico would pay for the wall was among his most popular proposals on the campaign trail, sparking enthusiastic cheers at uh, raucous rallies. Mexico has repeatedly said it would not pay for any border wall. Trump has not provided specific details about the project. Earlier this month, the president said the building project would initially be paid for by congressionally approved spending bills, and Mexico would eventually reimburse the U.S. The reported uh, the report stated that the lowball project estimate is $10 billion. However, the GAO said it may cost as much as $6.5 million per mile for a single layer of fencing. So again, a, a ban on people from terror hotspots around the world, and they won't. And that is what Trump is going to be focusing on uh, the, this This week, including today. And I don't know why anyone would have a problem with this. Now, the left does. The left thinks that, that, you know, President Trump here is being a bigot, being a racist. That he's being, it's just completely wrong. It's not what we do. It's not who we are. Listen, we have got to, and this goes along with President Trump's America first, that we have to protect this country. And those who have either engaged in uh, activities, which we would not be proud of here in the U.S., those who come from terror hotspots, guess what? It's going to be a little bit harder for you to get in. Just today, what, there was a bomb that went off in Somalia. Terror hotspot. At least naming these areas that are terror hotspots, it's a good thing. The steps that Trump is taking today are steps that will help ensure security in the United States. Again, no one has a right to be here. 
from outside nations. You don't have a right to be here. We want to take good people, good people who want to be Americans. But there are some people who want to sneak in, some people who want to get in and overstay a visa, who want to carry out attacks, who want to harm this country. And all Trump is doing is saying, no, we're going to put a stop to that. As much as we can, we're going to put a stop to it. It's it's not 100%. Doesn't mean that people still can't get in. But it's a hell of a lot better than what we've seen the last eight years, which is just everybody come on in. We don't want to offend anybody. We don't want to offend Somalia. We don't want to offend Iran. We don't want to def- offend Libya. Why? To me, this is very smart. This is not a Muslim registry. It is not a uh, a throwing out of Muslim people. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with any of that. It is about keeping this nation safe. So to me, smart moves by President Trump. Uh, he will catch flag from the left on this, but uh, this this is what he said he was going to do. And there were some stories that came out yesterday that he that people have been putting pressure on the administration to step up these executive orders and to to get to some of the immigration stuff. Well, he'll get there. It's day three. You know, it's it's working day three. He'll he'll get to the priorities that he has laid out. I think Sean Spicer. It was either yesterday or maybe the day before. Well, why don't you just you know do executive orders everything on day one? <laughs> And he looked around going, okay, well, you know, it's something we get lost in the pile, okay? Uh, It's something we get lost in the news. The White House wants to make sure that everybody knows when a campaign promise that the president made is being made and being lived up to. I think this administration knows that a lot of the people who voted for Donald Trump are sick and tired of politicians who get up to D.C., campaign for one thing and don't follow through. And so they're rolling these out a couple at a time per day. So that way everybody knows, hey, remember that promise I made about the wall? Hey, executive order, we're going to get it done. Smart, in my opinion. 